Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to synchronize your Microsoft Teams files with the File Explorer. This is a super quick tutorial, um, so if you do find it useful, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is actually just navigate to the team where you would actually like to synchronize your files. So we're just going to click on the supply chain team just here and then click on the general channel. Now, um, there are obviously several different channels here and you have the ability within SharePoint and uh, Microsoft Teams to synchronize your files um, by channel or by team. So um, I'm going to kind of show you what that looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is let's click on the general channel um, of the team that we would like to synchronize. And then at the very top, we're going to click on files. And then from files here, um, you will see the open in SharePoint option. We are just going to click on that and that's going to open up the SharePoint site. Now, by default, because we were in the general channel, we've gone to the general file for the SharePoint team. What we then want to do is actually navigate to the documents. Okay, now this shows us all of the files and all of the channel files, that is, um, within that particular team. So we can see there's a general channel and we can see that there is a meetings channel. Now what you don't see is the private group because that's private. You cannot see that directly from the documents channel uh, or the documents in SharePoint. So just important note that you're only going to see the public channels here and that is the only um, file structure you're going to synchronize via this method. Okay, so if you wanted to only synchronize one channel, then you would go into that channel and then click the sync button. If, however, you wanted to synchronize the entire root directory, you make sure that you're in the root directory of documents for the team, so you can see all of the channels, and then you click sync. So what we're going to do here is we're going to synchronize the root directory for the supply chain team. So both of these channels, these public channels, we're going to synchronize them with File Explorer. So to do that, we're going to click the sync button. This is then going to um, give you this pop-up here saying getting ready to sync. This is um, in the background opening up the uh, OneDrive application and is basically synchronizing your files for you. Now, if you do not have um, the OneDrive application installed, you're going to have to go in and install that um, first. So obviously this here gives you a link to the latest version. Um, so you can just go click on that, download it, install the application, and then repeat this process through and it will synchronize for you. If it's the first time that you're synchronizing any files to your um, computer as well, it might also ask you to give that application permission to do so, uh, in which case you just give it the allow permission and then it will synchronize your files. Once that is done, all you have to do is actually close this box. This box doesn't do anything for you. It's not doing any synchronizing, uh, all that's happening in the background. So you can just give that a close and the files are being synchronized. So if we just hop back over to our um, general channel here, um, what we can do is, because if we've got no files in this um, folder at the moment, what I'm going to do is just bring up my um, File Explorer, okay? So here I am, just this PC pictures currently, and we can see all these file, files and folders. Now, if this is the very first time that you have added a SharePoint um, folder into your File Explorer, you'll notice um, an icon like this one here, which this represents the organization, um, and you'll have the organization name spelt out um, next to it. That icon there basically is um, file Explorer um, identifying, uh, I guess, your SharePoint sites, your organization sites, and underneath that, you'll have basically all of the teams that you have synchronized or all of the channels that you have synchronized. Okay, so for me, I have all of these, and then the very last one is the um, supply chain team that we just synchronized. Then if there's on the little arrow here, we can do a drop down. We can see that because I synchronized the root directory, we have the general folder and we have the meetings folder. Now I can click into the general folder and just like uh, this um, Microsoft Teams 
general channel and the files, we can see that it is blank, okay? And it's blank within our file explorer too. So what we're going to do is actually just hop back into Microsoft Teams and we're going to add a file, okay? So we're going to upload um, something from my desktop called YouTube Examples and that's going to be uploading in the background there. Now, um, if I just flip between these, we can see that it is uploading just this one document here that's 23 megabits and it's progressing through and, and it's getting close to being completed. Once that's completed, you'll see that file populate in this particular file screen in Microsoft Teams and, and there it is, okay. So now it's here, it's also here within our general channel, okay. Those two things are completely in sync with SharePoint. So for those who didn't know, um, the file structure for Microsoft Teams sits as a SharePoint site. Um, so every team that you create in Microsoft Teams creates a SharePoint site for the file structure. Okay, so therefore every um, channel that you create, get a folder gets created in that SharePoint site. And you can then synchronize that with your file explorer um, so that it's actually easier to use your files. So for me personally, I tend to use um, the file explorer to manage all of the uh, files um, within Teams because that's just how I'm used to using uh, Windows, right? Um, a lot of other people might prefer to use the file structure within Microsoft Teams and that's fine. Um, because they are synchronized, it doesn't matter where you access your files, you could access them from Teams, you could access them from SharePoint, you could access them from your file explorer and they work in exactly the same way. So when someone edits a file, it's completely synchronized across all of those locations. Um, you get all of that SharePoint functionality um, no matter how you decided to access the files. Uh, and the main point for me personally is I tend to pivot off of SharePoint massively because of the functionality that you get and uh, the avoidance of risk that um, you can get from having things like a NAS drive um, or saving documents on your C drive where um, if you're working in quite a large organization, you have to share documents between people and um, you tend to email those documents across and there's a version of a version of a version created and it's really hard to know exactly what is the latest version of a document. And that's where SharePoint comes in. SharePoint comes in because it means that every keystroke is saved dynamically into the SharePoint and then synchronized across to all other uh, users using that file. So um, you can see when someone is typing in a PowerPoint presentation or in an Excel document or PowerPoint um, Word or whatever it may be. And that's the power of SharePoint. And that's kind of why I utilize uh, the file structure in Microsoft Teams every day. Um, and anyway, so I've kind of gone off a tangent on, on trying to explain why I use SharePoint, but um, I did want to just put this out there to say that you can synchronize your files in the way that you would normally use a NAS drive or uh, a local networked drive within your organization. Um, only benefit really comes that you don't have this version control issue and you can access it from anywhere in the world with an internet connection um, the, without the need of a VPN or anything like that. Um, hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, uh, you know what to do and I'll catch you guys in the next video.